In this video, I am gonna show you guys that how you can install Curvus OS 10 based ROM on any Android 11 based ROM. Second, I am gonna show you Curvus OS performance test by using benchmark scores. Third, I am gonna show you Magic Safety Net true or false. Fourth, I am gonna show you FPS fluctuation test in PUBG Mobile by taking hot drop using thermal or without thermal. What is the fluctuation occurs? So let's move to our video. So hello welcome guys today I'm going to show you that how you can install Curvus OS which is based on Android 10 on any Android 11 based ROM Be because many people have trouble while switching Android 11 to Android 10 based ROM so here I can show you that I am currently on my Avoc OS version 4.1 which is both based on Android 11 as you can see here so let me show you my ROM version which is Havoc 4.1 so here it is and here havoc version as you can see here my 4.1 and kernel is silver core kernel 8.1 showing this let me show you that uh, that your phone should be in my phone is not encrypted as you can see if you want if you don't want to lose your internal storage let me show you security here it is and here as you can see my phone not encrypted now I'm gonna show you that files you have to download before doing installation. So here as you can see that our ROM file is here, Curvus OS 10 point which is 20 which build date is 29 January 2021. Here it is our latest firmware file because you have to be on the latest firmware. If you are not on the latest firmware then you have to download and flash it before flashing ROM I will tell you. And this is our DFE plus magisk file to 21.4 version. This is combination of two file. So let's move to our TWRP recovery and make sure before doing ROM flashing you have taken your internal storage backup. Now let's move to our TWRP recovery mode. So here we are in our TWRP recovery and again I'm telling you that you have taken the backup of your internal storage if you love your naughty stuff let's begin the procedure so here i'm going to first tap on wipe and then advanced wipe now i'm going to select dell wick system vendor partition and data also now i'm going to flash it so here i'm going to flash it now it is flashing it just few moment and here it is flash. now i'm going back back now I'm going to install before now first let's navigate to the folder we have you have kept all the files downloaded files here it is now you have to flash your firmware file latest firmware file if you are not on your latest firmware then you have to swipe to flash it I'm not going to swipe because I am currently on my latest firmware which is 12.0.3.0 so now I'm going to flash my ROM file. So here I select ROM. Now I'm going to flash it. So here it is flashed. Now I'm going to do a wipe LV cache partition swipe. Now go back. Now flash our DFE and because I want my phone to be rooted and I want my phone to be not encrypted so I'm going to flash this file this file contains of both DFE plus magisk 21.4 latest build so I'm going to flash this file I'm going to swipe to confirm flash so here it is done I'm going to wipe cache cache delivery party swipe now I'm going to touch reboot system and let's boot to into our system. So guys I have successfully booted into my system without any boot loop, without any error, without any kind of error. So let me show you first uh, about phone and version. So as you can see here that uh, I am on Curvus OS latest build 
the build date is as you can see here 29 of January 2021 the stock kernel is silver core which is version 6.9 so let's move to our and here I also want to show you that I my phone is not encrypted because I have flash DFE and Magisk which is combination of both of the file so security encryption as you can see that my phone is not encrypted I have not lost any internal storage data as you can see here let's check our Magisk let's check it out our check safety net is it true or not or yes it is true success without any doing any kind of thing any kind of extra thing so let's move to our Geekbench score or 3D Mark score. First, we go to our 3D Mark score. And the score I got without using any kind of thermal. So the score was 4086, which is good score. But after using gaming thermal, the score was 4950, which is, which is pretty much good score on just stock kernel. Let's move to our Geekbench score so here the score i got without using any kind of thermal the score for single core was 392 in multi core score i got 1596 but after using gaming thermal the score for single core was 431 and for multi core the score was 2205 on just stock kernel silver core stock kernel so which is pretty much impressive i found so guys let's move to our PUBG review gameplay so guys in this video I did not use any thermal and the FPS meter is at on top left corner as you can see so let's see how much FPS it drops in hot drop location So guys if you have any doubt comment me in the comment section I will reply to each and every comment. So bye bye guys see you in our next video till then peace out.